This is an operating systems question based upon memory organization. It is basically talking about the TLB or the translation look aside buffer. We have to determine which of the following statements is false. And it is an MSQ type of question. There can be multiple correct. So let us check the options. First one is saying that the TLB performs an associative search in parallel on all its valid entries using the page number of incoming virtual addresses. So first let us understand what the TLB actually is. TLB is a set associative and fast memory which stores the data in the form of key and its corresponding value. So if we find an entry in TLB then it is readily available and we do not need to go and search in the main memory and if it is even not available there then go into the secondary memory and bring it so all that overhead is avoided. And this TLB is like a fully associative memory. So the search will go on in parallel and not in series. So these are the tags and based upon all of them instead of the address it will use the content for the search. So the parallel search is possible because of its set associative property. And that is what is mentioned over here. It searches in parallel on all its valid entries using the page number of incoming virtual address. Now what is this virtual address? It is the logical address coming from the CPU with which we determine the page number and the corresponding frame number where the data is actually stored and we have to fetch that data. So using the page number given in that virtual address we can check in the TLB parallelly if it is present in any of its entries and that is readily available for us. So this is true. We have to determine the false statements. So this will not be included. Let us have a look at the second one. This one is saying if the virtual address of a word given by the CPU has a TLB hit, but the subsequent search for the word results in a cache miss, then the word will always be present in the main memory. Now here we are talking about both TLB as well as the cache. What does a cache do? It is also like a TLB memory which stores the words and they are readily available for us so that we don't need to do all that overhead of searching it in steps from main memory and again if there is a page fault then go and search in the secondary memory so all that overhead is avoided if we already find the word in the cache itself. Here what they are saying that we have a TLB hit which means we have already found a page number and then we can determine its corresponding frame number. It is readily available to us. So now that we know the frame number it does not matter if we have a cache miss or a cache hit. Here they are mentioning the cache miss. So even if there is a cache miss because we have the frame number we can go and search in the main memory directly in that particular frame and we will find that word over there. That word will always be present in the main memory otherwise it would not be there in the TLB as well. So this is definitely true. So we will not consider the option. Now the third one is saying that the memory access time using a given inverted page table is always the same for all incoming virtual addresses. Now what is this inverted page table? It is just like a hash map. We will have some entries and then corresponding to them we can have some values. So these are the keys for the hash map. So what we do in inverted page table we basically have the page numbers and their corresponding frame numbers kind of thing. So it is actually a hash map data structure. And let us also have a look at the option D. It is on the same lines. So we'll be able to compare both of them together. The option D is saying in a system that uses hashed page tables. So again this is also talking about the same thing just like the inverted page tables. If two distinct virtual addresses V1 and V2 map to the same value while hashing then the memory access time of these addresses will not be the same. So there are two virtual addresses v1 and v2 and they are mapping to the same value. So let us say this is our hash table. This is the value to which both v1 and v2 have mapped. So now how will this hash table be implemented? It will be in the form of chaining because there can be multiple entries possible for every key. So it will be in the form of a chained linked list kind of thing. This can be the thing. Now V1 and V2 are both mapping to this same value. So the memory access time for these addresses will be same or not that has to be determined. Now the 
this is a linked list let us this is the head and these are the subsequent nodes let us call them 1 2 3 so on up to n so if we have to search in this linked list then if it is found in the head itself then the complexity would be order of 1 constant time but if we have to traverse this entire linked list up to the tail node then that would take linear time order of n or the depending upon how many nodes are present in that list so it is not always true that both of them will have the same memory access time for one of them we might find it in the head itself but for the other we might need to traverse that entire list and that would take a linear time so it is not same for all addresses even if they map to the same location because the linked list is involved ahead so though this option d becomes true it is saying that it will not be the same so this is correct and now coming to the option c what it was saying that was the same thing it is saying memory access time using a inverted page table is always the same for all incoming virtual addresses now here it is not even saying that all virtual addresses mapping to the same entry it is directly making it even more broader saying that all of them will have the same access time it is a hash table but chained implementation is involved so all of them cannot have the same memory access time hence this is the false option that we got and this is what will be the answer for this question c